Hey, what's up, y'all? So, um, just installed the Dolby Vision, and I um popped in this movie. Obviously, this is my go-to movie. Let me see if I can adjust the camera a little bit. Take it out. But anyway, um, I was going through the settings in the Oppo, and there's a choice for you to pick um either the TV that does the up that the upscale and the processing or the Oppo that does the processing. And they also got a, a auto a auto um selection too. But honestly I think the auto it just picks what comes um first. And I, I and what comes first is the Blu-ray player. So I think the Blu-ray player picks auto I mean, auto uses the Blu-ray player. I'm sorry about that. Auto uses the Blu-ray player. So, um, only big differences I noticed when you choose the the TV to do the processing and the um, Oppo to do the processing is that the Oppo, it has a little bit more detail. Just a little bit more detail than the TV itself. I don't know if the TV is um TV needs an update, but it seems like the Oppo has a slight advantage over the TV when it comes to processing Dolby Vision. So um if you do have the Oppo, let the um the Oppo do the upscaling. If you do not have an Oppo and you have this TV or one of the X1 Extreme TVs let the tv do the upscale because they're kind of both like basically the same they both kind of look the same honestly but you can tell that the oppo has just a slight advantage just a slight advantage over processing dolby vision a little bit better like certain scenes has um more detail in it even though the the, the picture the picture settings I set them this a certain I set them the same the same way, so they both are adjusted the same. It's just that the Oppo has a little bit more upscaling. Could be the TV needs a uh, update for that. So um, could be wrong, but honestly, it looks great. Okay.